Morena te whanau. Beautiful bright sunny morning up here in Tamaki Makoto. I'm here this morning just to share my um, learning from our latest module and that was called e-commerce system. Um, to begin us off I'm going to start uh, a karakia and, and it's the Lord's Prayer in Māori. Just this week I've seen it's being shared throughout the whānau on Facebook so I'll take this opportunity just to um, say it. Kei me noi tātou. E tō mātou mātou ai te rangi, ki a taputau ingoa, ki a tai mātou rangatira tanga, ki a me te taue pai ai ki runga ki te whenua, ki a rite anō ki tō te rangi. Ho mai ki a mātou ai nei he taromo mātou mō tēnei rā. Murua mātou hara me mātou hoki a muri nei. Aua hoki a mātou i te kauea, kauea ki a whakau ai ai ngāri, whakau rangi a mātou. I te kino, nei hoki te rangatira tanga, te kaha me te kororia. Ake, ake, ake. Amen. Okay. Um, so I've just finished um, our second module and our second week of Kahawi Te Ao. And this module was called the e-commerce system. So first I'll start with um, my mentor, my mentor <laughs> Travis O'Keefe. He took the time to study 24 gurus of the e-commerce system and in studying the 24 gurus of e-commerce system uh, he found they all had uh, similar approaches in common and so you know he saw that um, they all had a strategy, they all had a plan and they had operational tactics and their their focus was on one person and not everyone so in e-commerce um, you would need to focus on one one customer and not not the idea of selling to everyone okay so in this lesson um, we covered three lessons so that is the e-commerce system and what that's made up out of the uh, strategy and that is our roadmap to get us from here to there and the third one was a customer avatar and that is a, a buyer person persona okay so in the e-commerce system is made up of three things and one is traffic so traffic is your potential customers it's just the fancy word um, second is your web store or your web page and that is a online store that converts about 1.8% of your um, traffic into sales and your third one is a autoresponder and that is a set of pre-written emails that send out automatically so without the system of all three parts, the traffic page, the web store page, and a autoresponder, you will only have part of a solution, and that is to build a sustainable business. Okay, on our lesson two, we had our e-commerce system, and that was our, our roadmap to get us from here to there. Um, so... Our program, the program that I'm on, Kahawi Te Ao, is a 11 week program, so each week we get a module to cover, and in those modules is content to help us learn to get to here to there. So that looks like this. I've actually written a little bit of a list because it's a few things that we have to go through. And so the first one is we have to list... Um, Potential customers is a very important and valuable asset. So that's with my social media, my family and friends, who I'll be selling to hopefully, and that will help me generate my first $200 in order for me to graduate from this program. Number two is we're not building a full online store, but we're building a one simple product services web page. We do this because they are more effective and 
yeah, the more effective at converting website visitors into sales, into customers. Number three is we we are going to build a email list of customers within my community via one product services um, web page and sell to them via email marketing after the initial purchase because um, a key to business is to sell to previous customers repeatedly over time and this metric is called um, the lifetime value of the customer and we want to increase the LTV. Number four is we are going to offer something of high value to our community for low cost and then after that and then offer upsells of complementary products services after the initial purchase to increase the average order value the AOV okay number five we're going to increase our AOV our average order value so we can pay for our paid advertising so hopefully if we get enough money we can actually advertise within social media platforms or wherever wherever we choose so that's the whole idea of the AOV the average order value and number six um, is the first step to know is our customer avatar and that's what we're covering next okay so in our lesson three that is um, creating our avatar. Okay, customer avatar. To to market a product or service properly, first we must know and be clear who is our ideal customer. I know the thought and the hope is to sell to everyone, but it's just not it's just not true, Farno. <laughs> Okay, so your customer avatar is your ideal custody, your target market, your buyer persona. Um, so this will look like a, a full detailed profile of your ideal customer. With a, with a detailed avatar, you can target your marketing a lot more effectively. Without an avatar, we wouldn't know um, what content to create, which material to share, or how we could, or how we should um, direct our marketing efforts to where we can improve. So I have, I have created two uh, customer avatars, and yeah, so I'm I'm just like finding the details on them at the moment. And yes, so I hope you've got some learning from that. And yeah, that's what I've been doing this week for now. So kia pai tōra, be safe, be well.